Not guilty. To everybody that put their hoodies up, and to everybody who said I am Trayvon, his family expressed their heartfelt gratitude for having them these past 17 months. In the circuit court, of the, the lawyers in the case speaking to the media after that verdict, and that shocked a lot of people across the country. We're back now with Reverend Charles Williams and Rick Hector. Um, gentlemen, do you think that this case, I mean, let's, let's go back. I mean, obviously, we hate keep bringing race into this, but George Zimmerman was not even charged until weeks later, until the political pressure that people started speaking out and, and really got... You know, emotions running because of this. Do you think now that this could, there could be a civil case? Let's talk about the issue of race. The issue of race. Check this out. Oh, in the city of East Rock, we're going to ask you a question. And 100 <laughs> homicides in Chicago. 500 homicides. Well, a lot of this is black, on black, is black on black crime. Where the real uproar comes from is when a non black person shoots a black person, right. and a black person right. dies. Then all of a sudden, then you get Jesse Jackson and Al Sharpton want to roll into town right. and right. say, hey, right. we got. A huge problem here, and we just totally, we just totally ignore all the 411 people that were killed in homicides. Let's look at Martin Luther King. There definitely is a civil case here. One, two, is this a race issue? Absolutely, positively, 100. percent If you would flip the script, it's obvious that uh, whoever, uh, Big Ray Ray Johnson, who shot Little Stevie, would be in jail right now. There would be no, no questions about that. The third thing is. This. We are going to continue to mobilize nationally. Let me tell you why. It was not, we didn't mobilize nationally and have people like Jennifer Granholm and superstars and everybody else wearing hoodies, uh, putting it on their Facebook and tweeting it out uh, because it was a race issue, because it was an issue of injustice. And what was our call? Our call was for them to investigate. And that's all we're going to do now. So we're going to ask the United States Department to continue their investigation because their investigation stopped when the state decided that they were going to step in and try this case. Why don't you protest black on black crime? We do. Clearly, there are more black on black crime black on white crime. That we do. And a lot of times that is not as sexy enough for the media to cover. And a lot of times that is not as sexy enough for the media to cover. But oh, yeah, it's thorough we have, racial discord. We have, and you bring in the we, national we have, celebrities we like Jesse Jackson. Jackson. I guess what, yeah. do you have <laughs> what do you want? What is it going to show up? What do you want to tap? We want justice for Trayvon Martin. What, is that what, what exactly is justice? You're saying, you're, you're, saying you're, you're saying you didn't get the verdict that you wanted. You know, justice is we our system of jurisprudence right, where the prosecution so failed. Get out of here. 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 On what basis? He couldn't jail. prove the guilt. We won't jail. We definitely did think that he should be charged with a crime and he should be in jail. Just create a crime with no evidence and just make it fly so Charles can feel better. You cannot do what what people who follow Rick would like to do, and that's go run after kids, gun them I down. Just explain, after fighting, I just explained. I explained. After after fighting. Fighting. Talking about kids, let's talk about that kid at Martin Luther King High School when a 70 year old high school student was escorting two young women out to their cars, and your Trayvon Martin or whoever else jumped out and pulled out a gun and threatened the lives of that 70 year old man and those two women. He, that little kid, 16, 17, was shot in self defense. You know, we didn't see you say, "Hey, that was wrong." You know what? We should penalize the person for defending himself and defending them young women because that criminal was killed. And where, where were you at? Where were you? Where were you at? I was there. And I know all about it. And do, do, did, you, did you put forth a protest? Do you know? Do, do you do you put forth a protest? <laughs> do you put forth a protest when criminals when criminals threaten the safety of law abiding citizens? Do you, do you believe do that? this was a racial issue here? Do you think that the result would have been different if this if the, it was the other way around? Here, here's here's what let me ask you. Let like Rick answer Rick questions. Here's the thing. If 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 in this case, if if the races was reversed, here's the thing. If the jury follows the evidence and if the <coughs> prosecution could prove that the defendant was in fact guilty, then there should be a, a, a guilty verdict. But they failed to do that, and Charles is upset. But you know, here's the great thing. He gets to stop the Emmett Till all over again. We're going to continue to stay with the family. And, and the bottom line is, I just ask that people pray for the Trayvon Martin family and those who are affected by this. There's very, very, very high passions around this issue. Right. Verdict in, but the argument far from over. Thank you both for we'll joining us. Going. All right, and more to come. Michigan has its own version of the Stand Your Ground Law. Is it time to take another look at it in light of this verdict? Up next, the senator who wrote that law on Ladder Rip Weekend. Bitch.